Yeah, along those lines, I think it's it's a little bit of a consistent theme. Is you know, I would say is is run your business as if you're going to sell your business in the next 12, 12 months. Um, and you know, I was in the discussion before this with David Lee. They're living that, even though we have sold the business. What I've seen with uh, people we work with and help is is so many people get focused whether it's just on the hacks or on keyword research and the down and then the minutia, which is those things are important. Uh, but to Mark's point earlier, you can find people that can help you with that over time. But uh, you know, it's a real business. You have to think about it like that. You've got to you figure out the, uh, the microeconomics of your product or whatever the item is, and then you know, from there, it's about scaling the business. And the way you know, we've done that is initially it was a lot. You know, David talked about this as around a lot of automation really early. One of my other uh, partners had a lot of expertise on that side, so we built a lot of systems automation, and then we. Uh, and then last week's really been scaling people like really aggressively, you know, once we have the, the model and then we replicate those processes to launch products and everything else. So, uh, but yeah, if you, I, the analogy I use is if you sold your home before, usually like when your home's up for sale and you've got people coming through, the home looks the best it ever has. Uh, right? And you're like, oh, I wish I looked like this the rest of the time. Uh, you know, do something similar with your, uh, with your Amazon business.